We are here to remember uh, one of the darkest days in recent history, 9-11, which of course happened uh, 10 years ago. These were direct attacks on everything that civilization stands for. They were certainly a direct attacks on something like a university uh, that stands for open society, which CEU proudly does. They were attacks on an international community of diverse cultures and societies uh, trying to work together. And they were certainly attacks on a global world that was trying to solve its problems through common cause and cooperation. There were, of course, staggering costs, we know, of these attacks. Most immediately, nearly 3,000 lives in New York, Washington, and Pennsylvania, and then countless thousands in the wars that followed. The greatest cost, in my view, uh, at least for a time, was uh, the trust and belief in the politics of democratic change yielded for a time to the cold grip of a politics of fear and threats to open society. And certainly events followed that enhanced the politics of fear. We know of the additional attacks that occurred on the London Underground and the Madrid trains and the Bali terror tourists and the Mumbai hotels. And then, of course, most recently and painfully in demonstrating that these attacks could come from anywhere in Norway on uh, civilians who were attacked by a homegrown a terrorist. Finally, there were costs of another kind, and I have to mention those, and they were the cost to human rights. Uh, bending or suspending the rule of law in the hunt for suspected terrorists, including the use of indefinite detention and occasionally torture, as well as massive surveillance on civilian populations. These were indeed to be marked as costs of 9-11. Over the last decade, we have learned, I think, a lot about how to respond to this a kind of situation, to terrorism and what it stands for. And as a result, I hope, and I stress this as a hope, that our society will be safer and more open in the future than it was on September 12th, 2001. And my second thought is that, that I think this year we have witnessed an extraordinary popular movement for self-determination in North Africa and the Middle East, which in many ways is the most powerful kind of response, and appropriate, if you will, to the threat of terrorism. 